Hello friends, we are going to draw a flowchart to print right triangle star pattern. So this is a right triangle star pattern. So we have to obtain range as an input. Based on the range, we have to print the star. If I give my range, 4 means first row 1 star, second row 2 star, third row 3 star and fourth row 4 star. Like this, we have to print. For this, we are going to draw a flowchart. So this is the logical start of the flowchart. I am obtaining a range from the user in a variable n. Input n. I am initializing a variable, a loop variable, which is set equal to 1. Here I am checking condition. If i less than or equal to n. The condition is true. I'm initializing I'm initializing a loop variable set j equal to 1 and I'm checking a condition If j less than or equal to i, if the condition is true, if the condition is true, I am printing. Printing a star, the string, and I'm incrementing j by one. J equal to j plus one, and I'm connecting back to the Inner loop, condition checking loop. If j less than or equal to i equal to true. If j less than or equal to i equal to false, in such a case, what I am doing if it is false. If it is false means in such a case, I am giving a an empty print statement print is an empty print statement and I am incrementing i by 1 i equal to i plus 1 and I am connecting it back to the outer loop that is i loop. So this is our flowchart. So here if i less than or n equal to false in such a case in such a case I am ending this flowchart with the logical Start. So this is my flowchart. Now we will check how this flowchart works. Start 
input range is obtained from the user set i equal to 1, variable i equal to 1, I am checking i less than or equal to n, i less than or equal to given value, if it is true, I am initializing a variable j equal to 1 and I am checking j less than or equal to i, if it is true, I am printing a star, incrementing j by 1 and again I am checking if j less than or equal to i again, if it is true, print a star and j equal to j plus 1, so star will get printed until j less than or equal to i, so j less than or equal to false means what I am doing, I am giving a, an empty print statement. That means it will take the empty print statement will take the next row. Okay, the print to the next row. And i equal to i plus 1. I am incrementing i by 1 and connect it back to the, the outer uh, loop. That means i less than or equal to n. So the loop will go. Outer loop and inner loop will go continuously until i less than or equal to n. If it is false, means I am ending this flowchart. Now we will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works. So, I am having a n equal to 4. I am utilizing i equal to 1. i equal to 1. I am checking i less than or equal to n. 1 less than or equal to 4 is true. And we come inside the true statement and we can initialize the j equal to 1. So, we initialize j equal to 1. So, j less than or equal to i, 1 less than or equal to 1 is true, it will print a star, I am just writing out here, it will print a star and j equal to j plus 1, j equal to 2 now, you come and check j less than or equal to i, 2 less than or equal to 1 is false, it will come also will print an empty statement. So the control will move to the next line here. I am incrementing i equal to i plus 1. i value is become 2 now. i is become 2 now. So I am checking i less than or equal to n. 2 less than or equal to 4 is true. We will come inside j equal to 1. We will insert j equal to 1. So we will check j less than or equal to i. 1 less than or equal to 2 is true, it will print a star, the star will get printed and j equal to j plus 1, j equal to 2 now, then I am checking j less than or equal to i, 2 less than or equal to 2 is true, so it will print a star, another star will get printed here and incrementing j by 1, j equal to 3 now. 3 less than or equal to 2 is false. 3 less than or equal to 2 is false. Now, what, what happens? happen? We come inside and print empty print. It will take the control to the next row and i equal to i plus 1. I am incrementing i by 1. My i value is 3 now. It will check 3 less than or equal to 4. The condition is true. It will come inside and says j equal to 1 j equal to 1 and to check j less than or equal to i 1 less than or equal to 3 is true so it will come and print a star yes star will get printed j equal to j plus 1 j equal to 2 now and if you come inside and check j less than or equal to i 2 less than or equal to 3 is true it will come and print a star so another star will get printed then j less than to increment the j by 1. So j is 3 now. j equal to 3. So I am checking j less than or equal to i. True. And it will come and print a star. Another star will get printed. j equal to j plus 1. My j value is 4 now. It will check. Uh, 4 less than or equal to 3, j less than or equal to i, 4, 5, 4, uh, yes, j value is 4 now, i value is 3, it will check, 4 less than or equal to 3 is false, it will come inside, come outside, it's false, come outside, and put an empty statement, the control will, control space, increment i by 1, now, my i value is 4, now to check, 
i less than or equal to n so here the value of o less than or equal to o which is true i'm utilizing j by 1 j equal to 1 let's check j less than or equal to i 1 less than or equal to 4 is true so we print a star the star will get printed and j will be incremented by 1 my j equal to 2 so we combine and check j less than or equal to i 2 less than or equal to 4 is true then I have to come and print a star another star will get printed increment j by 1 so now j equal to 3 so we come and check 3 less than or equal to 4 condition is true then we can come again and print a star another star will get printed increment j by 1 j equal to 4 and let's check j less than or equal to i 4 less than or equal to 4 the condition is true so you print a star another star will get printed and incrementing j by 1 j equal to 5 now let's check j less than or equal to i 5 less than or equal to 4 is false so to take a false root and to put an empty statement control will come here and what it will do increment i by 1. So what is the existing value of i which is 4 now i is become 5. So you check the condition in the outer loop 5 less than or equal to 4 which is false and you will take the false root and this is the logical end of the flowchart. So what is my range? I am uh, giving n equal to 4. So I am getting an okay, yeah, output like this. This is my output. So I am getting a right angle triangle so first row one star second row two star third row three star and fourth row four star up to range four and and getting a right angle triangle if you five give a five ten or hundred the flowchart will work perfectly that's it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you